Well, UPFAMP Lakshmanya Pabe Vardhana convened a media briefing in Colombo today. Agamativarya Gazette Patriak Maging. The Prime Minister has been appointed through a Gazette notification. The Secretary to the former Prime Minister has been removed and a new Secretary to the Prime Minister has been appointed. That is the second task he carried out legally. Also tomorrow, the Cabinet of Ministers will be sworn in. That is the third legal step being taken to move the country forward. To date, 120 have expressed their consent to the newly appointed Prime Minister. We have met and discussed about it. Parliament was prorogued not to make up the 113. Parliament was prorogued mainly because the budget was due to be presented in November. But the budget has to be presented by a new government. That is why Parliament was postponed until the 16th of November. After the UPFA withdrew from the national government, only 30 ministers can be appointed legally according to the constitution. You cannot appoint more than that. I believe it will be even less. After a new prime minister is appointed and his predecessor is removed, he can't use state property. This government itself had brought forward something called misuse of state property. Regrettably, he will have to be responsible for the number of days that he misused this property. Vehicles cannot be used. Remember, these funds are being provided by the presidential secretariat. If the supply of funds is halted tomorrow, there will be many issues. Without falling into the category of misuse, there would be no issue if he acted in the gentleman-like political conduct that he did before.